In this video, I will be covering the various color-coded kits which are provided by the NECO, that is National AIDS Control Organization. And uh, moving on to the first kit that we have is the kit 1, which is gray in color. And kit 1 contains tablet azithromycin plus tablet uh, suffixin. Why we do give kit 1? Why kit gray is given? Kit gray is given uh, to patients suffering from urethral discharge, anorectal discharge, cervical discharge, or painful scrotal swelling. So kit 1 can be prescribed in such patients. Moving on to the next, the kit 2 that is green in color. And kit 2 green is given to patients suffering from uh, having a history of or suffering from, uh, that is suffering from vaginal discharge. And uh, kit 2, that is green kit, contains tablet secnidazole and contains capsule of fluconazole. So in vaginal discharge, uh, we can give uh, kit 2, that is kit green in patient. A uh, special point to note is that all partners should be treated when the patient is symptomatic. Their all partners should be treated. Uh, whereas in kit 1 and kit gray, the guideline is treat all the recent partners. Uh, for cervical discharge patient, treat partners when they are symptomatic. For painful scrotal swelling, treat all their recent partners. Moving on to the next kit, which is kit uh, 3, which is white in color. It is given to the patient suffering from genital ulcers, which are non-herpetic in nature. And what does kit 3, that is white kit, contains? It contains benzacelline penicillin injection, that is one vial, plus a tablet azithromycin okay so and uh, so what if the patient is allergic to benzathrine penicillin what alternative can be given there is an alternative provided by the NECO that is kit 4 which is blue in color and contains toxicycline plus azithromycin so kit 4 that is blue colored kit can be given to the patients uh, who are allergic to penicillin th penicillin so instead of giving them kit 3 that is white kit we can prescribe them kit 4 blue so kit 3 and kit 4 are given to patients who are suffering from genital ulcer but they are non herpetic important guideline is that treat their all sexual partner for past three months okay so moving on to the next that is uh, we have kit five that is kit red in, uh, that is red in color and it is also given to the patient suffering from genital ulcer but the ulcers are herpetic in nature that is um, herpetic ulcers patient is suffering from genital ulcers which are caused by herpes uh, previously i mentioned about the kit 3 and kit 4 which were white and blue in color they were given to genital ulcer patients which were non-herpetic okay so kit 5 and red which contains tablet acyclovir given three times a day so given so kit red is given for genital ulcer patients suffering from herpetic ulcers okay so moving on to the next kit that is kit 6 kit yellow yellow colored kit which contains tablet suffixine tablet metronidazole and doxycycline given to patients suffering from lower abdominal pain or i suspect pelvic uh, i suspect pelvic inflammatory disease so for lower abdominal pain or pelvic inflammatory disease of course kit 6 is recommended uh, kit 6 that is yellow kit by NECO is given in case of lower abdominal pain or patients suffering from pelvic inflammatory disease important point is treat male partners with treat male partners with kit 1 okay moving on to the next uh, next one the last kit which is kit 7 which is black in color and it is given to patients suffering from inguinal bubo okay kit 7 contains tablet azithromycin it contains tablet doxycycline treat their all sexual partners for past three weeks okay now let's study some important points as mentioned by neko educate and counsel client and their sexual partner regarding sexually transmitted infection or reproductive tract infection provide them information about safer sex practices and importance of taking complete treatment treat their respective partners advise sexual abstinence or condom use during the course of treatment so during the treatment phase you should advise them to prefer sexual abstinence or they can use condom or uh, advise them to use condom during sexual intercourse provide condoms educate about correct use and consistent use 
refer all patients to integrated counseling and testing center that is ICTC follow up after seven days for all STIs and third seventh and 14 day for lower abdominal pain and seventh 14 and 21 day for in uh, inguinal bubble if symptoms still persist assess whether it is due to reinfection or an advise proper treatment and proper referral consider immunization uh, against hepatitis B so that's all that's all uh, about NECO color coded kits thank you